Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you tonight? Hello, Ileana, hello, Denise, Esmeralda, Guadalupe, Rebeca, Carlos, William. How are you tonight? I'm fine, thank you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, Moises, welcome to the class. How are you, Moises? How are you tonight? I hope you're good. Okay, solo recordarles que el día de mañana we will have classes, right? I'm too bad. I feel sick. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. What's the matter, Moises? The flu, fever. Cold. Hello, Kosael. Welcome to the class. Good evening, teacher. Oh, you have the flu. I'm sorry to hear that. Right? I hope you recover soon. How are you tonight, Kosael? Uh, very good. Thank you, teacher. And you? I'm very well. Thank you for asking me. Thank you so much. So let's start with tonight's topic. Tonight, we're going to talk about quantifiers. Quantifiers. So let's start with tonight's topic. Do you have any question about the exercises on the platform? No questions, no problem. No questions. No questions. Okay. Everything is good then. Then let's continue. Let's start with this night quantifier. That is a topic. So welcome to the class A thirteen. Is it thirteen? It's fourteen, right? Sorry. So in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation between two people talking about their family size using quantifiers. In this lesson, participants will be exposed to quantifier and their meanings. So those are the objectives for tonight. So what is a quantifier? Do you have an idea what is a quantifier? What is it? Do you remember some quantifiers? Let's see, for example, the many. What is the meaning of many? What is the meaning of much, for example? Few. Little. Do you remember this quantifier? All. And. Hello, Claudia. Good evening. So, do you have any idea what is the meaning of this quantifier? Many. What is the meaning in Spanish of this word? Anyone knows the answer? Nobody. Many, much, few, little, old, none. Let's see in the chat. Algunos. Sería mucho, poco, todo y nada. Okay, excellent. So we are going to study this quantifier tonight. Let's finish this and let's continue. So let's start with this uh, small comment. Can you identify some quantifiers in this conversation? Okay, let's listen. Y después de la, digan la lectura y luego de la escuchar y leer, vamos a si encontramos algunos quantifiers en esta conversación. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Okay, let's just start with the first question. How many brothers and sisters do you have? 
That question is for you. How many brothers and sisters do you have? I have a one sister. Okay, thank you, Denise. Ileana, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have three sisters. Josael, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Three sisters. Claudia, good evening. How many brothers and sisters do you have? How many brothers and sisters do you have? Okay. Um, I have. <laughs> I have. Um, my brother, Sonia. Boy, how many means cuantos? ¿Cuántos hermanos tengo? Dice. Yes. Um, sería, I have two. two brothers. Sister. Two sisters. Okay, Oscar, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have two, one brother. Um, Three, four sister. Okay, excellent. So thank you for your answers. Now okay. let's see. Actually, I am I'm an only child. I'm an only child. What is the meaning of that? I'm an only child. Soy hijo único. Thank you, Janelle. Welcome to the class. So soy hija única, only child. Alguien es hijo único en la clase? No, yes, sisters, yes. no, brothers. Oh, Esmeralda. Okay. Is it good? ¿Es bueno o no es bueno tener hermanos? No, teacher. No, really? No, no really. <laughs> It's sí. bore. Is it bore? Bueno, ha de tener sus ventajas y sus desventajas. Pero en contras. ¿Cuál sería una ventaja de ser hijo único? Tolerancia de uno. Exacto. <laughs> ok. Um, all the heritage is for you. That is one. Any other advantages of being Have a big portion for the cake. Can you please repeat, Denise? Having a big portion for the cake. Okay, having a big portion of the cake, right? Every birthday. Todo el pastel para uno solito. Great. Otra ventaja, any other advantage of being an only child? You don't have to share, right? You don't have to share anything. Your clothes, the food, the snacks. So you don't have to share it. And... Then having brother and sister tiene ventajas también. ¿Cuáles podrían ser algunas de ellas? Which are some advantages of having brother and sisters? O ya no aguantan a sus hermanos y hermanas. ¿No tiene ventajas tener hermanos y hermanas? Se pelea más. Ah, okay. Se le echa la culpa de todo. Excelente, uno se puede librar echándole la culpa ahí al brother or al sister. Let's continue with the conversation. So let's see. Actually, I, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. What is the meaning of this word nowadays? Any idea? What's the meaning of nowadays? In India, it means hoy en día, ¿verdad? Hoy en día. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? No, really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. 
Now, quantifier in this small conversation, which one can you see? Can you tell me at least three quantifiers? Quantifiers, let's see, for example, in the first equation, we had one, and that many. is many. Thank you. Must. Which other one? Must. Must, okay, must families in China. The smaller. Mm, small, mm, thank you, Moises, a lot of small, mm -mm, a small, it is in a quantifier. And lots of is the other one, lot of your day present. Before to continue, I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants to practice? Thank you, Rebecca and I have Rebecca and any other volunteer to practice? Thank you, Ileana. So Ileana, you are Marcos. Rebecca, you are Meili. Can you please turn? Okay, teacher. Um, how many brothers and sisters do you have, mainly? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child, no days. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families, a lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Wow, that was excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you for your help. Let's continue. Let's see. Okay, let's leave in this information about quantifier. Then we're going to discuss them. Quantifiers. All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Okay, a quantifier is a word that or phrase which is used before a noun to indicate the amount of quantity. We use a quantifier when we don't know what is the real quantity? Cuando no sabemos cuál es la cantidad exacta de alguna cosa, then we use a quantifier. Let's see, for example, say many, a lot of, some, eh, no many, a few, few, no one, nearly all. Si pueden ver la barrita de color azul, va del 0% al 100%. No went, eh, nada, un, a few, poco, a few, un poco, no many, no muchos o no muchas, some, algunos o algunas, a lot of, eh, muchas, many, muchas, most, sería como la mayoría de, nearly all, casi todas, casi todos, en all, todos. Let's see this example. All families have only one child. Does it happen in El Salvador? All families have only one child? In El Salvador? No. ¿Cuál no. sería en El Salvador? ¿Qué porcentaje all family have a four, four child. Okay. All families have like four to five child. Children, sorry, four or five children. And let's see, families are smaller these days. 
cuenta qué porcentaje de familia será pequeño en El Salvador, será más pequeño. ¿Hay familias más grandes o más pequeñas en El Salvador? ¿Cuál sería el quantifier? Nearly all. Nearly all families are smaller this day. Ok. ¿Qué porcentaje de parejas tienen más de un niño? Couples have more than one child in El Salvador. Most. Most couples have more than one child. And let's see, get married before the age of 18. ¿Qué porcentaje de personas se casa antes de los 18 en El Salvador? En El Salvador. No one, few, a few, no many, or all. No one gets married before the age of 18. Okay. No one. Okay, no one gets married before the age of 18 in El Salvador. Are you sure? I will just not many, not many gets married before the age of 18. Then let's see. Let's take a look at this information. Quantifiers come before a plural noun. Los quantifiers se utilizan antes de un nombre en plural. We use quantifiers when we don't know exactly the amount or quantity. Nearly all women work nowadays. Is it true? ¿Es verdad que casi todas las mujeres trabajan hoy en día? What do you think? Yes, it's true. Ok, probably it's true, right? Nearly all women work nowadays. So we need the quantifier and the plural now. It's the next. O oh, es ex no one. No one. Primero va el quantifier y luego va el verbo. No one gets married for the age of 18. And here is the meaning of these quantifiers. Many means muchos, muchas, much. Mucho, muchas. Some, algunos, algunas, any, alguno, una. No, or no one, no, ninguno, ninguna, a lot. Mucho. And also a lot of. Little and a little. Poco, un poco, few, pocos, and a few, unos pocos. Okay, Carlos, I understand. And let's see. Ahora, el problema con los quantifiers es que uno se utilizan con nombres contables y nombres no contables. Do you remember about no count nouns and count nouns? Which are some examples of count nouns? Can you tell me some examples? Nombres contables. Do you remember that topic? Count nouns would be bottles, uh, chickens, cats, refrigerator. Okay. okay, thank you, David. Everything that we can count with apples, bananas, oranges. Uh, shoes, etc. Now, non-count nouns. Can you give me some examples of non-count nouns? Salt, money, <laughs> money, salt. Which other one? Which other one do you remember? Sugar, um, oil, water. Excellent. Those are some examples. Let's see these.
So let's take a look at this information here. When we are going, oh, how to use them? So many, many is mostly using question and negative phrases or negative sentence. No match for equation and negative phrases too. So we're going to use an affirmative and question, right? And preguntas que necesitan afirmación. And we're going to solve some examples later. So any negative and questions. We are going to use the quantifier any in negative sentences and also in question. No and not answer quantity and questions. Para respuesta, so no and not. A lot of and lot of affirmative and negative. Um, we almost never we use a lot of and lot of in questions. It is mostly used in affirmative and negative sentences. So let's see some example of this. Here we go. Quantifier plus uncountable noun. Podemos utilizar los siguientes. Quantifiers con nombres no contables. And I have much, a little, little, very little, a bit of, a great deal of, a large amount of, in a large quantity of. And I have this example. Would you like a little wine? Could I have a bit of butter, please? So use this quantifier with uncountable noun. Now use the next with both. You can use the next quantifiers with both countable and uncountable nouns. All, some, more, a lot of, and no, no, any, most, lots of, and less. Con ambos, ¿verdad? Con nombres contables y nombres no contables. We have lots of time. Any volunteer to read the example here? Who went to help me reading this example? Volunteers. Thank you, Denise. Okay, we have lots of times. Yo has a lot of times. I can go go out, go out. I don't have any money. There was a lot of food, but no drinks. Okay, thank you so much. So time is it countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Okay, thank you. What about friend? Friend. Can you count friends? It's a countable noun. So as, as you can see, we can use a lot of with uncountable and with countable nouns. So money, countable or uncountable noun? Countable. Okay, and drinks? Uncountable. Is it uncountable? But here is in plural, so it is countable because uncountable nouns doesn't have a plural, so no drinks, plural. So we can use all of these quantifiers with both countables and uncountable nouns. And let's see. Okay. Teacher. Yes? Repeat this, please. What? Mm, hello, what was your question again? Can you please repeat? Lo que dijo, los plurales. Ah, los nombres incontables no tienen plural. For example, time, money, sugar, salt, water. Los nombres incontables siempre van a ser singular. Was that your question? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Let's continue then with this. Quantifier plus countable noun. 
los siguientes quantifiers se pueden utilizar con nombres contables. We have many, a few, few, very few, a number of, several, a large number of, a great number of, and a majority of. So let's see some of them in the following example. They have three sentences as, as an example. Any volunteer to read these three examples, please? Who wants to help me? Thank you, Rebecca Jonel. A few snakes are dangerous. Most children like chocolate. A great number of people like sports. Okay, thank you so much. So few, few snakes are dangerous. Most children like chocolate. A great number of people like sport. So all of them are countable. Snake, children, and people. So can you please help me to complete this exercise? Use the correct quantifier to complete the sentence. Any. Number one, there are not many. Okay, Rebecca saying many. Yes, there are not many options. In the second one, much, much, much. How much money do you have in the number three? Few. Uh, few. Any. Any. There. there is few, there is any, any other option? Any. Any. Okay, you say it's any. The answer is done. Why is done and no any? Es afirmativa. Yes, because it is an affirmative sentence. In affirmative sentence, we use some. Let's go with number four. Much. We, we don't have much time. Yes, you're right. So we don't have much time. And the last one, number five. Any. Tongue, milk, any. Some. Do you have? You say the answer is any, yes. Okay, David, can you help me read in the five sentences, please? Okay. There are not many options. How much money do you have? There is some butter in the fridge. We don't have much time. Do you have any milk? Okay, thank you. Any other volunteer to practice reading the sentences? Okay, no number one. Dice. Yes, please, Oscar. There are not many options. How much money do you have? There is some water in the fridge. We do not have much time. Do you have any milk? Okay, thank you so much. Complete using many, much, some, any, none, or little, or a few in this sentence. Number one, how time do we have? Which quantifier? Much. How much? Okay, let's see. 
How much time do we have? Yes. The next. Second. Can you put sugar in my tea? Much. Okay, are you sure? Any other option? A few. A few. A few is for a countable noun. I just a little. Uh, can you put a little sugar in my tea? Okay. Tom, can you put some sugar in my tea? It is because um, you need a confirmation for this question. Can you put some sugar in my tea? Sure. No. And number three, there is right. We need to buy some of the supermarket. None. Era no. Little. Little. Any other option? A little is the right answer. There is little right. I poco arroz. We need to buy some at the supermarket. How many brothers do you have? None. Yes, none. How many brothers do you have? None. I am the child. And the last one. There, there weren't, weren't any, any children at the park. Pero que tener. No. Okay, there weren't many children at the park, only two or three. No habían muchos. Si digo any, no había ninguno. Como al final, only two or three, and we need many. Do you have any question about this? Question? Teacher, este, a mí me cuesta, la verdad. De diferenciar entre little y few. No sé, <ríe> me confundo. But little es para nombres no contables. Sí, uh, little sugar, little water, little milk. Un poco de para y a few es para los que se pueden contar. So you say few oranges, few bananas, few. What? You pizzas. Los que sí son contables van con few. Y el little con los que no se pueden contar. Oh, sí, teacher. Y siempre a few siempre irían las mismas. Eh, de, no, eh, contables. A sí, few a, y few. A few and a little. A few con los contables, a little con los no contables. Oh, sí, muchas gracias. Ok. Thank you for your question. So, now una pregunta. Uh -huh. Some es solo para afirmativo y many much, pero en negativo, eh, ahí me he confundido un poco. By some and any. Some se utiliza para oraciones afirmativas, pero también puede ir en preguntas. Eh, puede ir en preguntas cuando usted está ofreciendo algo. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo, would you like some tea? ¿Le gustaría un poco de té? Entonces, ahí utilizamos some. También cuando usted necesita una afirmación de otra persona, como en el ejemplo número dos. Can you, can you put some sugar in my tea? Está preguntándole si puede. Entonces, la otra persona tiene que confirmar. En ese caso, utilizamos some en una pregunta. Can you put some sugar in my tea? Y cuando usted está ofreciendo algo, escribo un ejemplo acá. Would you like some coffee? Aquí estamos ofreciendo algo. Would you like some coffee? En este caso utilizamos son porque estamos ofreciendo. 
en este caso y en el caso que necesite confirmación, entonces, por ejemplo, que you put some salt in my food. En estos casos va a ir some en una pregunta. De lo general, lo demás va a ir en oraciones afirmativas nada más. ¿De acuerdo? Y any, any si va en preguntas y en oraciones negativas. Ok, thank you, teacher. Ok. Any other question in this part? No more question. Pero, pero any, so, se utiliza en, en preguntas con, con, con contables. Any, con ambos. <laughs> With both. Con ambos, con contables y no contables. Any other question? Okay, let's go with this exercise then. Let's take a look of these sentences. Tell me, what is the right sentence? In hey, number one, I have four examples here. Which one is the right? There are some flowers in the garden. There isn't some flowers in the garden. There isn't any flowers in the garden. There aren't any flowers in the garden. Which sentence is right? There aren't any flowers in the garden. There aren't any flowers in the garden. Okay. And the second one. There are a lot of women in the class. There are a lot of women in the class. There are much women in the class. There are lots of women in the class. The, the first one. This one. There are a lot of first women. One. There, are, there are a lot of women in the class. You say the first one. Yes, you are right. And the third one. There are many Japanese tourists in the Vatican. There are, in, there are many Japanese tourists in the Vatican. The right is the, the last one. There are many Japanese tourists in the Vatican. There are many Japanese tourists in the Vatican. Okay. Okay, now let's go to the platform. Let's take a look at the exercise on the platform using quantifiers. Here we go, guys. Give me a second. I am looking for it. Okay, let me share my screen with you. Here we go. Have you already completed this exercise? The instruction is to read the following sentence, select the response with the quantifier closest in meaning. So number one, in China, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. What is the right answer? In China, a lot of women get married by the age of 22. In China, few women get married by the age of 22. And in China, all women get married by the age of 22. The well, the, number one. the auction number one? A lot. Okay, a lot, right? Estaba en, el, en la mitad, ¿verdad? De la gráfica que vimos, del 0 al 100% de a lot could be the answer. Let's choose this one. Let's see, in Australia, 87% 80 of married couples have children. What is the right quantifier here? Third. 
in Australia, nearly all of married couples have children. Okay, you say nearly all married couples have children. Number three, in the United States, 0% of the people vote before the age of 18. Which one is okay. it? Number three. Okay, no one. No one. 35% uh, of the people in Germany live alone. 35%. The second one. Some people, a few people, or most people? Some people. Um, some. some people. A few. Or a few people. Or both. A few. a few. A few, okay. Just a few. And this is the last one, number five. 78% of American high school students have jobs. Most Americans high school Number one. Number one, most American high school students have jobs. Most American. Okay, let's click on send. Oh. It is not a few, the answer in this number four. What is it then, some or most? Um, some. Then let's see some. Let's choose some and let's try it again. Yes, you were right, some is the right answer. Okay, do you have any question? No question? Okay, then you are going to work with your classmate in the playtime room and in El Salvador using quantifier. Let's discuss the following things. Number one, Okay, in su opinión, en El Salvador, en El Salvador, utilizando quantifiers, ¿qué porcentaje de personas smoke? Aquí va a discutir, va a poner acá el quantifier y le pregunta a sus compañeros si está de acuerdo. ¿Cuál podría ser un quantifier para eso? ¿Qué porcentaje de personas fuma en El Salvador? En su opinión, en El Salvador, ¿qué porcentaje de personas o familia tienen un carro? ¿Cuánto será? ¿50%? ¿60%? ¿30%? do you think, Lionel? ¿Cuál será el porcentaje de personas que tienen un carro? ¿Cuál será el porcentaje de personas que trabaja en El Salvador? ¿Qué porcentaje de personas se casa en El Salvador? Y la última. Iliana, ¿qué porcentaje de personas cree que fuma en El Salvador? 
Yes, tell me a percentage. 50%, 10%. What do you think? Okay, anyone in here tell me, yes, a number. 3%. 3%. Ok, ¿cuál sería el quantifier para esta no, cantidad? 40%. 40%. 40%. Eh, let's see, Marco. Eh, 40%. 40%. Eh, la segunda, Marcos, ¿qué porcentaje cree que tienen carro? ¿De personas tienen carro en El Salvador? My friends, 50%. You say 50%. Ok, 50%. ¿En qué porcentaje de personas trabaja en El Salvador, Isabela? Uh, a lot of. A lot of. Y en términos de porcentajes, a lot of es 50, 70. Um, 80. 80%. Por cent. In, in different works, in different jobs. Ok, yes, thank you, you say 80%. And people who get married. ¿Qué porcentaje de personas se casarán en El Salvador? 35. 35% será. Y la última. Families. Um, ¿Cuál será el porcentaje de familias que tienen niños? Families. I consider it as 75%. Okay, you say 70%. Okay, so with your classmate, you are going to discuss things like this one. Let's see, for example, people that smoke in El Salvador, people that have a car, people who work, people who get married, families who have children. Let me finish this. And then you're going to use a quantifier. Por ejemplo, ¿qué porcentaje de personas creen que usan una bicicleta para ir a trabajar? They say nearly all, all people, and no one. Not many. Okay, not many. Few. Um, you can also ask for people who have house. People who have lots, okay, have money. So you are going to use quantifier to ask this question. So are you ready to go to the vacant rooms? Estos son solo unos ejemplos, ¿verdad? Con sus compañeros digan sus ideas. Your opinion about this topic. Is it clear what you are going to do? Yes. Okay, great. Then let's go with the breakup rooms. Take a screenshot of this question, if you want, or take notes and let me know if you are ready. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. Let's go then. See you in six minutes.
Rebecca, do you have a problem to enter to the breakup room? Se lo voy a mandar al grupo. Ya se me fijan. Hello, teacher. Hello, Oscar. Hello, Jose. 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 Hello, Do you have any question? Eh, generalmente no alcanza el tiempo, bueno, pero sí visito a los demás. Ahí está, ya lo mandé al grupo. Lo que escribí es que en El Salvador y por Smoke. Aquí no cuando puse los porcentajes. Ok, eh, let's see. Eh, it was Smoke. Según usted, Isabela, y utilizando los quantifiers, los siguientes, déjame mostrar acá. Voy a mostrar la presentación utilizando los siguientes quantifiers. Sí, bueno. This went all. Sí, estoy all. estudiando las clases de género. Ok, this one. No, bien, el porcentaje de personas ahí. fuma en El Salvador. You say all people, nearly all people, most people, many people, a lot of people, some people. ¿Cuál es su opinión? Solo tiene que decir la hora. In my opinion, um, mm -hmm. a lot of Ah, okay, no ¿Cuál era la pregunta? Ah, uh, people who is smug. Ah, ok. Speaking for myself, um, some people is smug. Ah, ok, excelente. Some people is smug in El Salvador. In some El Salvador. In El Salvador. Very good. Now, the second one was uh, have a car. ¿Qué porcentaje de personas en El Salvador cree que tienen carro? De, utilizando un quantifier. A lot, of, a lot of people have a car. Ok, you say a lot of people have a car. Excelente oración. That is. Then the next one was work. In your opinion, ¿cuántas personas trabajan eh, en El Salvador? Yo le pregunto a José y el Jimmy. Mm, ya sé, decente. Um, bye. Oscar Antonio, in, yes. your, sí, yo in your opinion, um, yeah, pues, what family... The family have a car? Um, how much family have a car? Okay, not many. Not many. Not many. 
no many families has a car. Y la pregunta sería así, Oscar, in your opinion, how many people? Ah, sí, how many people? How many people do you think have a car? Next question, how many people do you think um, work in El Salvador? Josael, how yes. many people do you think have a work in El Salvador? Have a job in El Salvador. ¿Cuántas personas creen que tienen un trabajo en El Salvador? Utilizando un quantifier, si dice que todas las personas tienen trabajo, All families have a job. Si cree que la mayoría, most. Hola. Si cree Tengo que mal most. la señal, teacher, perdón. Ah, ok, José, el don't work. ¿Cómo Then, era la pregunta? How many people do you think have a job in El Salvador? O sea, él, hello. Bueno, este responde utilizando un quantifier. Dicen, many people have a job. A lot of people have a job. Or not many people have a job. Me preguntó a mí, teacher. Yes, José. Que, es que tengo mala señal, teacher. No la escuché, perdón, teacher. Ah, ok, ok, no problem. Let's go with Isabela then. Isabela, how many people do you think have a job in El Salvador? Um, many people have a job in El Salvador. Ok, Oscar, what do you think? Um, many a lot of some. A lot of people have um, a job. A lot of people. Oh, um, okay. Um, have, a lot have a job. Have a, have a job. Okay, let's continue with the next question, please. Okay, the last gente I get married. How many people do you think get married in El Salvador? ¿Cuántas personas se casarán? All people, nearly all, most people. Ok, continúen practicando. Most people. Ok, ahora pregúntele a Isabela y luego vamos a él. Si yo en Aminat. John. Ay, lo sacó. Did you finish practicing? Yes, coach, I have a question. Tell me, what is your question? I don't know how do you say mm, a las niñas que salen embarazadas a temprana edad. Okay. Let's see. That would be pregnancy in teenager. Pregnant. In teenager. In teenagers. Uh, what do you want to say? What is the sentence? Uh, how many teenagers? Are pregnant in El Salvador, for example. In El Salvador. ¿Qué porcentaje um, de niñas cree que están en embarazo? 16%. 16. Then it means 16 years. A uh, few. No many. ¿Cuál de esos sería? Mm. 
yo creo que sería no many teenagers are pregnant in El Salvador no many no muchas adolescentes están embarazadas en El Salvador Ok, thank you. Ok, excelente. ¿Any other question? No more question. Ok, todos dijeron su porcentaje. Smoke. Vanessa, ¿qué porcentaje de personas cree que fuman en El Salvador? All, nearly all. No many. Some people smoke. Okay, some people smoke. What about have a car? How many people? Many do? people have many, a car. Many people have a car. And what about get married? Get married? Nearly all people work. And... Get married, casarse. ¿Qué porcentaje de la población se casará? A few people get married. <laughs> okay, sí. excellent. So, see you in a minute with the rest of your classmates. Hello, welcome again to the class. Did you finish practicing with your classmates? Todos terminaron yes. de practicar? Yes. 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 Finish? Yes. Yeah. Finish. Finish? Okay, great. So, let's wait a minute. We are going to for your classmates. Uh, let's see. How many people do you think have a car in El Salvador, Denis? Using quantifier. I think 16%. 16%. 16%. Usando quantifier, ¿cuánto sería el 60%? Many. Many people have a car in El Salvador. Ok, get married. ¿Qué porcentaje de parejas se casa en El Salvador? I consider a 75%. 75%. Uh, yes, in quantifiers, it is most. Most, okay. Most people get married, or most okay. couples get married. A smoke. A smoke. I think sixteen uh, percent, and I consider I consider um, many people are smoking. Many people are smoking El Salvador. Great. So do you have any question about tonight's class, guys? Questions? Okay. If no, we are going to continue studying this topic the next class. Iliana, do you have a question? No, teacher. Okay. Everything Great. is clear. Okay. That's perfect. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight, guys. Thank you. See you next Thursday. Tomorrow we won't have classes, right? So enjoy your day. Uh, enjoy the holidays. Spend time with your family. Rest a lot. Watch a movie. Listen to music. Clean your room. Okay? Enjoy it. Bye. See you on Thursday. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye